Hello everyone. Today again we are together with uh, or for solving an initial value problem constructed on a first order linear differential equation. Now, uh, before starting the solution process, uh, let's see this equation is linear. So let's write in the general form of a first order linear differential equation as dy over dx. plus 2x times y equals x cube and you see that 2 times x is p of x and x cube is q of x so the equation is a first order linear differential equation and uh, probably the uh, the simplest way to solve a first order linear differential equation is method of integration factor in fact uh, there are some more uh, methods to solve first order linear differential equations uh, probably i may also explain the other methods in some other videos uh, i don't know but uh, i can record them or not now let's continue with the method of uh, integral factor let me write mu of x the integral factor of this equation equals exponential integral p of x dx and that is exponential integral 2x dx and that is going to be exponential x square so uh, this is the integration factor integration factor and when I multiply the first order uh, linear differential equation with this integration factor uh, the left hand side of the equation is going to be rearranged uh, in a simple simply integrate integrable form so uh, let's do so I will multiply with the integration factor exponential x squared times dy over dx plus exponential x squared times 2x times y equals exponential x squared times x cube. Now, uh, let me check the left left hand side of the equation uh, i see that the the, the multi, one of the factors exponential x square and its derivative is here exponential x square times 2x is the derivative of exponential x square and dy over dx as the uh, derivative of y is dy over dx so the left hand side of uh, the equation can be written as u over dx y times exponential x square equals x cube times exponential x square so uh, now let me integrate both sides of the equation that is the left hand side is going to be y times exponential x square is going to be integral x cubed times exponential x square times dx so uh, the integral uh, at the right hand side of the equation uh, should be solved uh, so how can I solve this integral uh, first let me say the this equation is i1 then uh, i1 equals integral x cube times exponential x square dx and in in the integral i1 uh, let me let me take a is x square and that is 
dA is going to be 2x dx and that gives x dx equals 1 over 2 times dA okay now I can write the integral I1 as that that integral can be rewritten as x square times exponential x square times x dx so it can be rewritten in terms of a and da as one over two let me write step by step x square is a times exponential a times uh, x dx equals 1 over 2 dA dA so it can be be arranged as 1 over 2 integral a times exponential a dA now uh, in this form I have a simpler integration and uh, how can I solve this integration uh, let me say The integration, uh, this integration as I2, and I'm going to be solve the I2. So I1 equals 1 over 2 times I2. When I solve I2, automatically I will be solved I1. So how can I solve this integral? Uh, in the integral i2 I assume that let me assume uh, a is u and exponential a times dA is dV and here it is easy to see that dA equals du and exponential a equals v so uh, i to the integral i2 uh, that is a times exponential a dA equals u times v a exponential a minus v times dA integral exponential a dA so similarly I1 can be written as 1 over 2 times a exponential a minus integral exponential a dA so now everything is easier uh, let me calculate the integral 1 over 2 a exponential a minus exponential a plus let me say the constant of integration for this integral c1 that is the constant of integration integration constant then when uh, I return the original variables I calculate I1 as since I know that uh, a is x square so I1 is going to be 1 over 2 times x square exponential x square minus exponential x square plus c1 so again I turn the solution uh, of the uh, differential equation again uh, y times exponential x square was uh, I wonder that is 1 over 2 times uh, let me write it as x square minus 1 times exponential x square plus c1 so 
uh, now y of x the solution of the differential equation can be written as exponential minus x square times 1 over 2 times x square minus 1 times exponential x square plus c1 and now uh, I can also write now um, here I can also write some simplifications y of x can be written as 1 over 2 times uh, x square minus 1 plus uh, let me write c3 times exponential minus x square here c3 equals 1 over 2 times c1 another concept i use here uh, now it is the solution of the problem but in fact it is the solution of the uh, differential equation but uh, i hope to i have to get the solution of the initial value problem so i have to use the uh, initial data here the initial data is y of 1 equals 1 so uh, when I substitute uh, 1 instead of uh, x here and again 1 y1 one instead of y1 I will find <coughs> y1 that is 1 over 2 times 1 square minus 1 times plus uh, c3 exponential minus 1 square equals 1 so I can easily find c3 here here is 0 and c3 is uh, 1 over exponential minus 1 that is e so the solution of the initial value problem can be written as y o x equals 1 over 2 times x square minus 1 plus e times since c theory is e exponential minus x square